everybody. And one of the other must-have resources here I do want to touch on is uh, one of our favorites, of course. It's called Presenter Media. Now, here's why I love Presenter Media, because, first of all, it is just like a kick-butt resource for everybody to kind of get stuff on. And I'm going to go ahead and put our partner link in the chat box. The thing about being visual and creating visual content, having some stuff that you can use is a really beautiful thing. Okay, and Presenter Media has more stuff than anybody, and more good stuff than anybody, I guess is the way to kind of preface that. But here's the other thing that is very cool and handy dandy if you are in a production mode for creating slide content. Let's just go uh, over and here's some templates and a tutorial I'm working on for everybody. It's called Paper Cutouts, so it's kind of cool and, you know, as opposed to just the flat static image like this guy, I'm going to do some fun things and, you know, it's very simple to do in PowerPoint, but let's say that I want some more imagery here. I'm going to go down here and uh, oh, let's just add a new slide real quick. So if I'm working uh, in production mode here and I want to get some content, one of the things that's awesome is Presenter Media integrates directly with PowerPoint. So I'm going to click the Presenter Media tab here and I'm going to click the Sign In button and I'm not going to do anything else. It's going to automatically log me into my Presenter Media account without even typing, which is awesome. And now what I have here is over on this side is this little bar that collapses in and out. Okay, And what I can do is then search all of the media on Presenter Media. And there are templates, there are some animations, uh, clip art. I use this constantly and I'll touch on uh, like the video backgrounds and stuff in just a little bit because those are fun and custom text stuff. Uh, what should we search for? Anybody have an idea? How about how about a valentine? And I'm going to search all media but typically I may narrow this down a bit to like just clip art or something like that. Okay so here this allows us to customize the text and I'll kind of talk about that in just a second. But, you know, here's just a, oh, that's just adorable. So I'm just going to click on it and say insert clip art. It's going to automatically download it from Presenter Media and put it right in my presentation. So if you think about what I have here is I have a resource image template search engine built right into PowerPoint. Now let's just contrast that real quickly with how you would have to do that manually. I can still go to Presenter Media. Oh, and guess what? I can search for Valentine. And I will get all of the same search results, at which point I will need to click on it. And I will need to download it. I will need to save it. And then I will need to import it into PowerPoint. Okay, It's little things like that that are really going to make your life easier. Uh, and one of the other cool things is let's just take a look at this custom text. So they have all of these different things that you can customize the text on. And being able to customize images, especially when you're doing work for clients, this is the bomb, right? So here, let's just take a look. So everybody kind of sees what we have here. Oops, I think I need to be logged in. Let me log in. And you can customize this text. I like being able to do this in a real quick fashion with good looking results as opposed to what? Oh gosh, trying to create it in Photoshop or outsourcing it? Man, life is just too darn short. So let's go make that custom Valentine because doggone it, it's Valentine's Day and you know, we, we need something like this for our, our work today. <laughs> uh, so here, I'm just going to say add custom text. So you'll kind of see custom text one. So this little part right here will be the first part. And you, it shows the maximum characters and, you know, stuff like that. So sometimes you won't always have room to do stuff uh, here. As, like, I think Michelle's probably. Oh, see, too bad for Michelle. Oh, oh well. That's okay. We'll... Just my first name. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to get creative. Okay. <laughs> so the point being then I can just go and you can change all kinds of colors and stuff like that. I'm going to want a PNG clear so that you'll see I have the transparent background 
And let's just uh, customize it. I usually don't worry about the size too much, uh, but you could adjust all kinds of things, and you can take shadows off and put reflect. I mean, it's just insane. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it do that, and it will basically let me know when it's ready. Deborah was wondering if the Presenter Media Connector plugin uh, is only available in, tw in PowerPoint 2010. Do you know? I do not know the answer to that. It's certainly supported in 2010 and higher. And here's the bottom line. If you are making presentation-style videos for clients, you need to have PowerPoint 2010 or higher. It's a productivity thing, you know, so it's a business investment that I would highly recommend you make. Now, that being said, can you do a lot of this stuff in 2007 or PowerPoint 2003? Well, yeah, but... Oh, it's it's harder, and your results aren't going to be as smooth and as as good. Oh, isn't that sweet? See, so now I can go ahead and download this. There's a Aww. Way. I think there's a way to do that right within the integration tool also, but I'm not totally sure. I think if you want to create the custom stuff, you have to go and create it. But let me just show you the trick there. I'll just save it under Media Library. Save, and it's a PNG file. So now let's go here and kind of complete our stuff here. Actually, let's just try that real quick and see how quickly it updates because now I'm kind of, oh, my custom media. So it, there it is. Boom. Insert. So you don't even have to download it. You just create it on Presenter Media and then, you know, you have access to all of your custom media. There we go. These are the kinds of things, though, that are going to make production life easier. When you're working for clients, of course, again, time is money, and tools that you can use to enhance your creativity are certainly important to quick mention. Here we go. Bang, bang, la, 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 bang, 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 come on, here we go, here we go. It's time.